murkiness, or turbidity can significantly raise the risk of a shark attack. It's not implausible that sharks have learned to depend on the reliable abundance of human swimmers along the Gulf Coast. of wildlife in their hearts. None more so than the shark a magical time in Port Clovis when local favorite Trash Talk placed 20th in the Derby and the city placed first in the country for petty theft. of humans against shark attacks.
Shark to fight another day. Ichthyologists have hypothesized that sharks come on shore. Dead horse lake should be embarrassing, right? But in Port Clovis, they put up a monument. Guess you gotta be the best at something.
Often what we witness beneath the waves is more incredible than what we can imagine. Those shark hunters may occasionally drink on the job, they know actually that's pretty responsible. The shark boots as slippery as it is dead. Sure does look inviting, but according to the most recent study, the sand here contains dangerously high concentrations of fecal bacteria.
The beast makes effective use of its powerful tail. Maybe a rainbow trout? are capable of absorbing extreme amounts of water in their attempts to suck up prey. Somebody's drinking team has a drowning problem. apprehension methods having failed, authorities send out a motley collection of untrained, unlicensed individuals to do their work for them. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis.
The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. This shark is a sort of super scavenger, completely lacking in what may be called dietary discrimination. Only someone had done their sixth grade reading assignment, perhaps this tragedy could have been avoided.
The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Evolutionary anomaly, the hammerhead. superior depth perception.
sharks are accustomed to attacking anything that, while hunting bull sharks, was made illegal in 1997. Many shark hunters get around the rule by not killing. of merry-go-rounds, wooden roller coasters, and fun houses. All of which will be destroyed in a succession of churches. Able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. is a driving force for the bull shark.
Elvis retaliates against the shark by sending some of its most disreputable citizens. Lazy Eye used to be my favorite lighthouse. A keeper named Emil. Always had the best core liquor. Now they got it automated. That computer's a lot less fun to drink with. Another shark hunt draws to a close. As twilight falls, Pete is in an uncharacteristically quiet mood. It's a dangerous job. It's not something unknown to me. We well, want to see dangerous. Look at that, yeah? That's PT-522. My daddy crewed that off of Guadalcanal. It was Navy. Gunner's mate. Pacific Theater. But when I was 16 men, came back a day later with three. Man survives all that. Just to die here in the Gulf. What happened to him? Boy, you don't like me saying this. But my daddy, his granddaddy, was killed by a mega shark. I, I, I'm sorry. He's talking about a prehistoric fish that went extinct 2.6 million years ago. I seen it. Now, you were a kid. Ain't they discover new animals all the time? Sort of. Well, not not exactly. In lots of cases, they're just corrections of species with different names. Also, stuff like misspelling. But I just say it. Maybe there are things in the water that ain't in your textbook. Stick around. Maybe you learn a thing or two this summer. Whatever. The ocean is vast. The majority of it still remains unmapped and unexplored by mankind. Perhaps Kyle shouldn't be so quick to dismiss his father's fevered ramblings.
Scaly Pete remains resolute. Where's she at? I don't know. We're gonna have to go now, eh? Get that can! Dance him! He get to walk! What remains of the boat lurches, then slowly sinks to the bottom of the sea. The shark is now an elder, and thus begins a new battle against systemic age discrimination. Homeless and itinerant hobos will work for a living. They are not to be confused with bums who are sedentary and refuse to work. Like my son Jeff.
Golden Shores development was originally met with local protests, but those objections were easily circumvented with campaign donations to Planning Commission Director Steve Traeger. The fish takes quick, evasive action. Prosperity Sands features glittering white beaches fenced off for the sole enjoyment of the ultra-rich, mega-rich, and super-rich. is often referred to as the king of the ocean, which gives it a skewed understanding of the role of a monarch in modern society. When it was discovered that their Stonehenge replica was astronomically misaligned, enraged Port Clovians threw it in the ocean. An insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine-tenths appetite. The appetite of this shark is nearly insatiable. The gulf is vast, 600,000 square surface miles to be exact, making it fifth among the world's seas. Given the 
number of people who frequent the beach, it can be rationally assumed that a little human... The shark is now a mega shark, often referred to by scientists as the 64-ounce gas station soda of large marine predators. After the end of the tiki craze, bar owners toss their Polynesian-inspired decor into the Gulf, where their kitschy charm is completely lost on native marine life. In the not-so-distant future, a young visionary entrepreneur will spot these three shells while snorkeling and revolutionize after-toilet care. in the barrels. Fish fool. Pete, whatever this is, can I ask you not to do it? I'm gonna get that shark. One way or another. It's, it's just that this is unnecessarily destructive. I mean, it's just one shark. There's a whole ecosystem. One shark? They killed my boy. Pete, look, I, I understand. Wanna keep tugging on this knot, you? 